guys, I've just checked into my hotel. Uh, I've touched down like about time now is about six thirty here in Osaka. Um, we touched down at about four p.m. and then passed the immigration. Need to collect some special train passes and some other stuff, and then I took the Haruka Express train, which is which was the Kitty Cat train. I got some footage, but not a lot, and it took about half an hour to reach um, Tennoji Station and then I transfer to Shin Imamiya and walk for about 4 minutes to my hotel here so I thought I would give you guys like a room tour or something okay so this is the door, it's very dark so maybe you won't be able to see but let me just turn to this side so this is where you put the card it looks very cozy but very small actually there's like a mirror here and then some shoes, slippers, I don't know, for you to use. Can you see? Oh. Yeah. And then some place to hang your clothes. So this is the bathroom. It opens like outwards, so you have to be careful. So show the light. Looks actually looks it looks small but it's like very futuristic. And then there's just a mini bathtub here, yeah. <coughs> mirror. Um, I don't think this toilet seat has those functions. Yeah, it doesn't have any of those, you know, Japanese thingy button stuff. Mm, sink, hair dryer, some razor, toothbrush, things like that. Okay, guys. So. Turns out I was wrong. Look at this. So this is the buttons for those um, toilet seat. Turns out it does have like a, those <laughs> spray thing for your to wash your butt after you you know do your do your thing in the toilet. It's just not attached to the toilet, and it's actually even easier that you can just press. So uh, you know it's pretty self-explanatory. You can choose the strength here. If not, there's like an instruction manual right here. So that was the bathroom. Now, two single beds. Don't ask me why. For some reason, in Japan, a lot of the hotels, it's cheaper to actually book rooms with two single beds than double bed. At least in Osaka. So, don't ask me, am I secretly coming with someone else? No, this is my luggage. I'm alone. And this place here is where they put the cups. Uh, there's a big TV screen here. Uh, I should turn it off, it's probably too loud. Okay. A uh, nice bed. You can turn the lights here, I believe, you know, you can switch on. Okay, I don't know what does what that does. Bed. Oh yeah, switch off the lights. Pretty cool. This is like a probably a heater thing because you know it's like winter here in Osaka so it's gonna be cold and this here is the view the window that you can see let me just open it up okay so <laughs> right opposite it's like residential houses so I don't know if I open it people might be able to see me and they will think I'm filming them but so I'll do it quickly so this is the view of the outside so that right there is like an Asian mud kind of place. Yeah, there was an ambulance over there, there earlier. I'm not sure what happened. But yeah, it's not that busy. I thought it's going to be busier because today is actually, there's like a matsuri. That's like, it's like a festival in Japan where people go to the shrine called uh, Toka Ebisu. So Ebisu is like a god of pros prosperity. So you go to the shrine on the 10th day of the new year and then you pray for good luck and good fortune. And over here, it's actually a blind. So I assume it's like another window. So just turn it on. And you get another side of the view. Which is pretty nice. Get a view of like the, the road. And there's a Daiso right there, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, 
I'm not gonna zoom in, but there's a Daiso right there, and I'll probably check it out later if it's still open. But I doubt it is. Here it's like like a parking area kind of place. And yeah, over there, I think it's like a big shopping mall or an arcade just right in front. So I'll check that out later too. And I think this is where all the um, people who, you know, doesn't want to go home, they just stay there and play those arcade things. So yeah, nice view. Let me just turn it off. Okay, so um, so later on, I'm going to do some exploring outside. And that's not much because it's night time, but I'm going to the shrine that I would talk about earlier to see how it's like. It's probably a lot of people, so I'm not going to talk there, but I'll try to film a little bit if I can. And yeah, get some dinner or maybe those street food, I don't know. Just see how it goes. And people here, they speak English, but... I guess because of how I look, they just assume I'm Japanese at the first go. So they'll try to speak Japanese at first and I have to tell them that oh, uh, just basic Japanese and I'll try to speak in English. But we'll see how this one goes and uh, I'll give you guys an update later. Thank you. 
So guys, I just came back from the uh, Toka Ebisu, you know, that's one of their festival as I explained and you have seen the footage, it was crazy, a lot of people and it was amazing, it was an amazing experience, I, I enjoyed it even though I never actually participated in a sense that I didn't get those leaf thingy and go to, I don't know, put those decorations on the bamboo leaf. But it was, it was all good and I had a good dinner as well. I spoke to them in Japanese. I mean, I didn't actually have like a conversation about life kind of thing. But it was like uh, ordering stuff in Japanese. And when they paid, they told me the amount in yen in Japanese. And I replied to them, paid and left. So throughout the whole thing, no English. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Today's the first day. It wasn't that much of an event because I just landed and uh, just needed some rest. Tomorrow I'm heading to Tokyo by the Shinkansen and while I'm at it I might as well just show you guys like what are some of the things that I have prepared. So maybe if you want to go to 
Osaka or Tokyo or wherever next time you can you know use it as a reference so I'm just gonna show you guys okay so first of all you know right here you have this uh, Osaka amazing pass so what this thing does is um, you get this card thingy and essentially what it does is that see here it says one day pass you know if you just want to explore Osaka for one or two days you can just buy this pass and you can pretty much use those Osaka Metro but bear in mind that in Japan you have many different railway companies and different metro system different bus systems so this Osaka amazing pass is only for Osaka Metro meaning that if you want to use JR which is Japan Rail another company you wouldn't be able to use this pass on those JR so you would have to buy a separate ticket for those so do your homework and check what's available what's not for free and then also what's good with this card is that it comes with a lot of free facilities and free events so just go onto their website just search, you know just type Osaka amazing pass and look for some of their events uh, sorry some of their facilities and attraction that you can enjoy for free next here is this uh, Kansai limousine airport that I have booked online through those uh, third-party agency so what this is is that um, it's essentially instead of taking the train to back to the airport or from the airport to city center in Osaka you can use this limousine service and you can just board the bus from the airport directly and it will take you to the different stops that they service so for my, in my ca case is this number OCAT so OCAT I assume is their bus stop and number is uh, it's just one of the places in Osaka near the city center so that's what I chose so, uh, this one is for my return because I have JR pass I activated JR pass on my first day which is today straight after my flight and I'll explain what JR pass is in a bit so this thing is your JR pass right here if you can see right here it says ordinary seven days pass and they, you have your start date which is of uh, 9th of January to 15th of January you can essentially use it for any railway that is under JR company there are some exceptions on the Shinkansen which is the bullet train so you know bullet train takes you from cities to cities very quickly if the speed is amazing so there are three different types of bullet train Shinkansen you have Hikari, Nozomi and Kodama so this three sh Shinkansen takes you from in my case takes you from Osaka to Kyoto to Tokyo and Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka and Nozomi is the fastest train because it stops at less stops but I believe they all travel at the same speed but Nozomi stops uh, has less stops so it's faster but that doesn't come with the JR pass so you can't use your JR pass for Nozomi so this thing wouldn't be valid yeah the other two you can use it so in my case I got Hikari and the valid validity for mine is 7 days you can choose 7 days, 14 days, 20 something days I don't know and there's a two classes of the ticket ordinary and green car green car is more expensive I think a uh, 1000 yen more expensive or 500 yen I don't know but you get a better seats and uh, it's in a different carriage and normal passes normal JR pass you can just put this JR pass ticket into the machine slot it in and then it will come out on the other end remember to take it with you because you need it for your whole validity period for Shinkansen it's better to reserve a ticket you know you don't have to because there are some carriage that accepts non-reservation there are some non-reservation car so you can just go on it if if it's available so if you're going during like the, in Japan the golden week or any time that is busy you better reserve a seat and from in my case I reserve this one is from Osaka to Tokyo for tomorrow for 11.48 a.m. you can see here is for Hikari because like I explained just now and for my case I specifically told went to the ticket office and told them that uh, I have a big luggage so my ticket is for a seat that is for oversized baggage so same for this Tokyo to Kyoto I have booked it as well from 
uh, for Hikari as well and also an oversized baggage because I'll be bringing my luggage throughout my whole trip so yeah that was the first day uh, pretty okay so far um, I don't want to jinx it but everything went smoothly today hopefully the rest of the eight days will be the same thing as well I see my recording is already one day is like 20 gigabytes so I'm gonna, probably gonna have to delete some footage if not I wouldn't be able to last till the last day so I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'm gonna head to bed it's like 10 30 a.m but I have to wake up early tomorrow because I have to uh, go exchange for that IC card oh yeah so that Ikoka card IC card for Osaka you can use it on it's basically like in Singapore EasyLink card or in Australia your TransLink card so you can use it um, for any transportation you just have to top up the value so I have to exchange that one in number so I have to walk from my hotel to number so I have to check out early and then make sure I don't miss the Shinkansen yeah so I'm gonna head to bed see you guys tomorrow